A can finish a work in 18 days and B can do the same work in 15 days. B worked for 10 days and left the job. In how many days A alone can finish the remaining work? Now we have been told that B worked for 10 days and left the job. Now let us calculate the work done by B in 10 days. So B's work in 10 days is equal to B's work in 1 day times 10. So what is B's work in 1 day? Well it is given that B can do the total work in 15 days. So in 1 day B can do 1 by 15 of the work, isn't it? So B's work in 10 days is 10 by 15 and that is 2 by 3. So two thirds of the work is done by B. So what is remaining work? It is equal to the total work minus the work done by B. So the total work we assume as 1 minus the work done by B which is 2 by 3 and that is 1 by 3. So one third of the work is remaining. Now this work has to be done by A. And now we have to find out in how many days can A finish the remaining work. So let us consider that these number of days in which A can finish the remaining work is x. Now if we multiply this x by the work A does in one day, we will get the remaining work, isn't it? So x times the work done by A in one day, that is 1 by 18 because A finishes the work in 18 days. So in one day A works 1 18th of the total work. So 1 18th times the total number of days will give you the remaining work that is to be done by A. So we'll get the value of x now. So x is 1 by 3 times 18. So 3 times 6 is 18 therefore x is 6. So 6 days are required by A to finish the remaining work alone. A can finish a work in 24 days, B in 9 days and C in 12 days. B and C start the work but are forced to leave after 3 days. In how many days the remaining work was done by A? Well let us calculate B and C's work together for one day. It is equal to the work done by B for one day that's 1 by 9 plus work done by C in one day that's 1 by 12. So that is equal to when you solve it you'll get 7 by 36. So B and C if they work for one day they do 7 by 36 of the total work. If they work for three days the work done will be the work done for one day times 3. So 7 by 36 times 3 and that is equal to 7 by 12. So for 3 days B and C do 7 by 12 of the work. So the work that remains is equal to 1 the total work minus 7 by 12 and that is equal to 5 by 12. So this is the remaining work. And this work has to be done by A. So the work done by A should be equals to 5 by 12. So A's one day work times the number of days must give us 5 by 12. So A's one day work is 1 by 24 because A finishes the work in 24 days times let the number of days be x should be equal to the remaining work. So 5 by 12. So x is equals to 5 by 12 times 24 and 12 times 2 is 24 and that will give you 10 days. So A must finish the remaining work in 10 days. Option C. A and B together finish a work in 30 days. They work together for 20 days and then B left. After another 20 days A finished the remaining work. In how many days can A alone finish the job? Well, A and B work together and they finish the work in 30 days. They have worked together for 20 days and then B left. So now let us calculate the work done by A and B together for 20 days. It will be equals to the work done by A and B together for one day and that will be 1 by 30 times the number of days. 
and that is 20 so 20 it is equals to 2 by 3 so in 20 days a and b together finish two-thirds of the work so the remaining work when b left is equals to 1 minus 2 by 3 that is the work done by a and b together for 20 days and that is equals to 1 by 3 so one-third of the work is remaining and that is done by a and the total number of days required is 20 days so a's one day work times 20 should give you the remaining work so a's one day work is basically equals to 1 by 3 times 20 and that is 1 by 60 so a does 160 of the work in one day so the total work will be done in how many days so this will come out to be 60 the reciprocal of the work done in one day so in 60 days a can alone finish the job so option d is the correct answer a and b together can do a piece of work in 30 days a having worked for 16 days b finishes the remaining work alone in 44 days in how many days shall b finish the whole work alone so if a and b together work then they complete the work in 30 days this is given to us what again is given to us is independent time periods of a and b and a works for some time and then b works for some time they don't work together so what we can do is we can consider a's one day work as x and b's one day work as y now we know that a and b if they work together they do it in 30 days so a and b's one day work working together will be 1 by 30 so 1 by 30 and this is equals to a's one day work plus b's one day work right so x plus y so this is one equation that we've got now also we have been given that a worked for 16 days and then b worked for 44 days so the total work done is actually let me write it total work done is equals to it is 1 and that is equals to the total work done by a in 16 days and the work done by b in 44 days so the work done by a in one day is x times 16 because he worked for 16 days plus the work done by B in one day is Y and he works for 44 days so Y times 44 so basically what you have is 16 X plus 44 Y is equals to 1 so this is equation 1 and equation 2 and when you solve these two equations which I'm not going to solve to save time you'll get X is equals to 1 by 60 and y is equals to 1 by 60 so we assume that b's one day work is equals to y and which is 1 by 60 so this is b's one day work so the total days required by b to finish off all the work alone will be the reciprocal of its one day work and that's 1 by 60's reciprocal is 60 so 60 days are required by b to complete the whole work alone so option C is the correct answer.